Hey guys, I want to welcome you to Tour Stop here at Master Mix Studios, presented by Student Run Records, where we get national acts to come in here, do some interviews, do some live studio sessions. If it's a band that you like, feel free to check us out on Facebook, IPR Student Run Records, for a chance to sign up, come in, see the band, meet the band, hang out. For more information, visit our website, Student Run Records, and thanks for checking us out.
Welcome, gentlemen of Junebug, to Tour Stop. And I would like you to each introduce yourselves and let me know how you became a member of Junebug. We'll start over here. Uh, my name is Anthony. I'm, I, I guess me and Tony started it when we were 13 or 14 and said we like making music together. And uh, yeah, that's how it all began. Uh, I'm Dustin, and actually, I started the band. Uh, yeah, it wasn't these guys at all. Okay. I'm Dylan. Um, I was asked to uh, play bass about probably two, three months ago. And you started the band? I did start the okay. band. Okay. And you, young man? Uh, I'm Tony. I started the band uh, in my bedroom playing an acoustic guitar while Anthony sang when we were kids. And uh, yeah, the rest of you I guys. Do, yeah, he did. He did start it up. I apologize. Okay. I was wrong before. I apologized. Yeah, you apologized. Yeah. Okay. Okay, apology accepted. Yes. All right. <laughs> and how, how would you characterize your music? The music of Junebug. Well, Eric, um, the music is. I think that. Uh, well, when I think of our music, I more think of that kind of Shia kind of of kind of kind of of kind 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 I understand you're recording your third album here at Master Mix Studios. How have you found that process compared to your other two albums? Uh, it's, been, it's been great. Our first record was actually uh, recorded at IPR in Minneapolis. Um, we found some students that um, wanted to work with us, so that's how we did our first record. Our second record was at um, First Seal in Minneapolis, and now uh, working at Master Mix and working with uh, various other producers, it's been really cool. There's uh, we're working with industry professionals who know what they're doing. They know how to get really good sounds out of our instruments. And uh, it's been an awesome experience so far. I really like it because uh, the producers, I think, are really getting into the vibe of the band. It's really a classic rock album with beards. We're, with Eddie Chaletti, we're doing a lot of recording straight to analog. Um, we're using a lot of old vintage style amps to get that old kind of fuzz and that old sound of the kind of classic rock two bam. So what's great is the producers are really seeing our vision and kind of help, helping it bring out through different recording techniques. So, so you indicate that uh, it has something to do with beards. Why don't you explain to the audience what, what in fact beards has to do with anything? Sure. <laughs> well, we, I, I like the idea of writing an album where we all grew up beards and where we all came up with the songs there on the spot and it was kind of like a pact. You know, we're all locking into this facial hair you know, movement which we were doing, and so what I kind of wrote songs, a lot of that were in uh, kind of classic rock keys, I thought like F sharp, a lot of C sharps. And so what it is for me is, is uh, just an album, I think, where we're using a lot, of, uh, a lot of older recording techniques to kind of bring out the style of the song, but it's a modern, you know, modern type album, modern type rock philosophy, so. Kind of the way I think of it is, the way I look at kind of the concept and the feel of this album is sitting around and listening to old records with your dad. And when we were kids, um, it was at a time in which a lot of dads had beards. That's kind of what I think of. My engineer who doesn't want to yeah. get his mics. Uh, that's all I do. <laughs> that's all I do is I just... You're saving him about $150. We're here live in the main room at Master Mix Studios in Minneapolis, Minnesota for this week's edition of Tour Stop at Master Mix. We're proud to have with us Junebug. So gentlemen, what are you going to play for us tonight? Uh, four songs. Our first one is going to be called Beards, which uh, was inspired by the very facial hair that I helped grow. Okay. And Fluffy? Tell me a little story about Fluffy. Fluffy little hands, um, I think to me, the, the first opening line, well, a monkey kills a cyborg with his fluffy little hands, is kind of, to me, the clash between maybe the old way of thinking, maybe the 60s, 70s mentality, and then kind of today with computers. Uh, there's a line on it called Jesus Christ on a web page, so I'm kind of making a statement about today. And has anybody ever related to those lyrics that you're aware of? Not that I know of. Most people just really like the part about the cyborg All right. and the fluffy little hands. Let's so. get them out there. And the yeah. other songs that you're playing tonight? Um, Give Yourself, which is kind of a slower one. It's about um, infidelity, you know, somebody giving themselves to somebody uh, somebody else. So having 
the heartbreak of that. And then the last one, Destiny, She Drives the Rolls, um, which I'm hoping is going to be our first single off the album. That one is, is more about the open road driving and uh, just kind of opening your mind to possibilities. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a freedom song. Okay, and tell us about the new album. What's it going to be called and when's it going to be out? It's going to be called Beards by Junebug, and it's going to be out inside the spring of 2012. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Tour Stop at Master Mix Studios in Minneapolis. I'd like to present Junebug.
both have two first names. Oh, don't let this great face of shame. like a feather Like a fool I thought it last forever But how could you give yourself But how could you give yourself
But how could you give yourself? But how could you give yourself to another? To another? When my world's dark and cold. Is this particular ensemble an homage to the Wiggles, or what is this exactly? <laughs> Who? <laughs> the Wiggles. <laughs> no, it's actually the Teletubbies. Oh, the Teletubbies, yes. okay. <clears throat> All right, and so how do you find yourself most compared to Poe, who is the red Teletubby? I mean, how are you most similar to Poe? Um, I have a very round midsection. I don't have a TV in mine, but the shape of it is generally similar. Interesting. If you did, it'd be a widescreen television. Boy, 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 boy. And Dylan, how, how would you compare yourself to Tinky Winky? <clears throat> no comment. <Okay. laughs> All right, so um, you're, here, you're here at Tour Stop at Master Mix Studios, which is a live performance. Do you guys still get nervous before live performances? Do you get excited? What is your general feeling before tonight's performance? I personally love the live performance.